Need for Speed Heat car list. A lot of you have been asking me to drop the deets. Where are the deets? They tell us it dropped. It dropped when we released the gameplay. It's actually been a week and a half since the gameplay has dropped. Hopefully you've been soaking it in, enjoying it. I'm kind of dying the fact that I'm not playing it anymore. But let's get on with the car list. It's safe to say this is one of the biggest car lists that Need for Speed has ever dropped in the series. Although they've cut some corners in some places, in my opinion. I think some people will like it, some people will hate it. Let's discuss. Impreza WRX STI 2006, 911 GTS, Polestar 1, Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10, Mercedes AMG C63, BMW i8 Coupe. These are all cars that a lot of people have been asking for. I would say mainly for me, I'm very much looking forward to the Evo 10 and the C63. Those two are cars that I definitely wanted to drive in a Need for Speed game. BMW i8 Roadster. Wait, hang on. Yes, I did just say i8 Coupe and i8 Roadster. Yes, they are both included in the game for some reason as separate cars, not combined cars. So you can't just take the roof off. But fair in real life, that's exactly how it is, right? BMW M3 E46 GTR. That is the proper M3. And it's also accompanied with an also 2006 M3. Yes, um, you can kind of see where I'm getting with this. You're going to see a lot of this repeating throughout the video. I'm not going to tell you the whole car list, but I'm going to give you a whole bulk of what's new and what we're most looking forward to. Nissan 370Z Nismo. That's not really new. They've actually updated the year of the car and it comes standard a Nismo, I imagine. So that's a little bit different to how it was before. But then they also have the Nismo 370Z 50th anniversary edition. Again, very strange. Very, very strange. <laughs> They're just kind of rehashing the cars multiple times over to kind of get more numbers. And I feel like that's going to be a case throughout the list. Well, I, I know it's Mercedes AMG GTS Roadster. Mercedes AMG GTR. McLaren 570S Spider. McLaren 570S. McLaren 600LT. McLaren P1. McLaren P1 GTR. I see exactly what you're doing and that is cheeky. Now, I'm at a crossroads here because realistically, I know for a fact that a lot of people will like the fact that they add in these special versions of these cars like the AMG GTR, the McLaren P1 GTR, the M3 GTR post the normal M3. Hopefully, we're getting that proper V8 and the straight cut gears. It blows the car list up. It makes the cars more exciting if it's the newer one it's the, the top one it's the latest and greatest but in reality those things in my opinion they're gonna have less customization parts if that's the case we don't really know right now that's a bit of a downfall because realistically if the old one has more bits on it and i can make the old one look more crazy and cool than the new one why would i use the new one because i just put performance upgrades in the old one do you get where i'm going at lamborghini hurricane lamborghini hurricane spider lamborghini hurricane performante lamborghini hurricane performante spider lamborghini aventador s lamborghini aventador s roadster lamborghini aventador svj coupe lamborghini aventador svj roadster lamborghini Countach. okay that's different that the last one's fine but do you understand there are four hurricanes in the game four in my opinion in what they should do is cut the normal ones and keep the, the the top one that they have but then the price gap the difference it's it's one of those weird gray areas and i would love to know what, what you guys think of this do you would you do you like the idea that adding the new ones and keeping the old ones do you want them to just get rid of the old ones i genuinely don't know because ultimately if for example the r34 gtr is obviously in the game if they added a uh, a Z-Tune version, which they already have the kit in the game. I would be very devastated and annoyed if they cut the original. I don't... It's it's a weird one. Ferrari, 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 Ferrari 458 Italia. Ferrari's a tongue twister for some reason. Ferrari 458 Spider. Ferrari 488 GTB. Ferrari 488 Pista. Granted, I am very glad that the 488 is here because the 488 is fantastic. And obviously, Ferrari are back. Decided that yes, people are going to customize these cars. Now, hopefully, we're going to see how that's going to come out. Are they going to be body kits for these cars? And ultimately, there's four different versions. Uh, the, the coupe versions and the roof topless versions. Are they going to have the same customizations? Again, I would prefer, in some cases, in some cars, they've actually done this, where you can have the car and you can remove the roof if you want to. The Corvette is a good example of this. We made a customization video. You can do just that. It, it, it's, it's an interesting list, uh, but ultimately, it does bulk the list up to 
high the, the number to over 100 cards, I believe it is. I mean, can't exactly, but I will probably do so for the title of this video, yes. I do think some areas are still lacking. We are adding a lot of high-end cards, but that's realistically because if you don't understand game development, it's pretty easy to take the Aventador and add on a few bits to make it the new one and increase the performance of it. It's still got the same engine, it's still got the same this and that. It's very, very similar. And that's why it's so easy for them to add on the P1, the P1 GTR. You take it, you slam it, you put a big wang on it, a presto, you've got a car without having to build a car from scratch. The cars that I want to see built from scratch, I'm talking about, I want to see some tuna cars. I've we've spoken about this a million times before, but also some American muscle cars, some older muscle cars. Of course, we've got the Camaro and the Challenger and the Charger. and every, We've got the, the bulk of them, the best ones, the some of the best, but we don't have all of a big category library of them. And again, the tuna cars is where I want to sit the most. And I worry there's a lot of these hyper cars. Are they going to overpower everything else? Ferrari F40, Ferrari LaFerrari, and the Ferrari FXXK Evo. This, though, uh, we're talking about rehash content. I like that there's a LaFerrari and FXXK, and it's going to be a game where, obviously, in the Crew 2, the only other game that I've really played that I actually really have an interest in the FFXK is because in that game, it's a touring car. There's not much you can do with it, unfortunately, whereas the LaFerrari is a street race car. In this game, there's no barrier. You can drive the FFXK Evo in a street race against the Skyline or something. That is going to be fun. And of course, we have another classic. These two boys have to come hand in hand. We've got the Ferrari Testarossa Coupe, which obviously goes hand in hand with the Contash. They're just... They're perfect for the setting of the game. They're required in Miami. Like, they're the perfect cars for this game. I cannot wait to try them. Obviously, we've got engine swaps in the game now, which is another layer to this list, because realistically, we've got all the cars that we've had before. All the payback cars are coming across. And that's great. I like that a lot. My favorite cars are the ones that I'm going to stick with. Merchant Lago, the R34, and I wish there was a few more Mercedes like the SLS. Other than that, They've got pretty much my my go-tos in the game. Jaguar F-Type R Coupe. Jaguar F-Type R Convertible. I don't even need to mention any of these anymore. We've got three different Corvettes, okay? Three Corvettes. And you can remove the roof from one and put it back on if you want. Genuinely don't understand that. And we've also got three M4s. I didn't even know there were three M4s. I do, realistically. Remember in the last game, they removed the M4? Well, it's back. Uh, they removed the M4 in the sense that they made it the GTS. Well, they brought the old one back, so now they've got the M4, the GTS, and also a convertible, which I've got to tell you, the convertible BMW cars when the roof is up, not really a fan. The body lines are a little bit off, but when the roof is down, which is what you'll use the car for, granted, it kind of looks cool. But realistically, what we have got here is a bunch of updated models, including the old ones still being in the game. I believe we had the standard Aventador before, we now have the Aventador S, so it's a little bit different. They've removed the Aventador and put that in. Hopefully, though, the parts are going to stay the same. But they've got the SVJ, in case you like the mustache, and the mustache is also on the Audi, in case you wanted that, the R8. So they've got the, the mustache, mustache. They have the updated mustache cars, and all the Ferraris you could possibly ever want, obviously, barring some older boys. Realistically, 2015 added in a lot of the tuna cars and stuff that we wanted, but not many high-end cars. Payback, what did that really add? It added some bits and bobs, like 350Z and stuff. This time round, we have got more supercars and stuff. And my, my, big, my big picture idea of the franchise going forward here, I don't mind it as much as I used to. And hear me out here. The reason why I don't I don't really mind so much is hopefully, you know, with DLC or something, they can add in those tuna cars. But more realistically, the next game, if they then decide, yes, let's add all the Ferraris and stuff we possibly can in that game as well, that's when I can be annoyed. I, I get that we've already had two games that focus more so on the tuna and low-end stuff. This game now had a little, double amount of the supercars. Next game surely has to go back to a little bit more tuner focus added to the car list, but realistically, I'm happy with the tuner cars in the game. I would just like to see more of them in the future. Do you get what I'm saying? If you scour through the car list, there is something very special. We already mentioned the M3 GTR being an, hopefully an actual M3 GTR this time. Maybe third time lucky. Never know. Nissan Skyline GTR, Eddie's from Underground, Rachel's 350Z, and the Ford F-150 Raptor Femme from Pay, but I really don't understand why that's one of the special cars. There was three of those cars that were listed that have these brackets and tell you a little bit more details about them. 
femme from peep what really not not impressed by that whatsoever but hey if they want to link the story in some way sure go for it uh, but in terms of these cars if they mention the m3 is split from the m3 but realistically it was the same in 2015 we still have that hope that the m3 has the good sound right all right that is the full car list that i've picked out the best the best ones from the list obviously ferrari returning a lot of supercars and re upgrading the badger retrofitting <laughs> cars if you will a lot of coupes turned into convertibles which is great for the theme and not many tuna cars whatsoever in fact did i pick out any in this list the evo 10 yeah that's that seems to be about it okay anyway my friends the car list let me know what you think obviously this is going to attract a lot more children i want to say because supercars are cool right right but they've got a pulsar on the front seems a bit anti-climax anyway be sure to smash like subscribe if you are new and i will see you in the next need for speed heat videos which i have planned super soon until next time peace